good. You guys got to a really high level really fast last year. Uh, do you expect more growing pains with so many freshmen this year? Maybe take a little bit longer to kind of get to where you want to be? Uh, maybe a little bit more. I feel like the freshmen are smart, so they're learning fast. So maybe at the beginning, but after we get it going, I think we'll be pretty good. What are some of the main things you're telling them heading into the exhibition game? It's their first game. It's maybe this big of a crowd. Just exactly what you said, the crowd. That's probably like the toughest part to adjust to. I mean, obviously, they adjusted through athleticism and all that through practice. So now it's just the crowd that is all they have to adjust to, really. Coach Oliver was talking about media timeouts as well, being kind of weird coming from high school to college. Did you have an adjustment there, like with just media timeouts being different, stuff like that? No, not really. It was just, I've watched basketball all my life, so I knew it was coming. And it's just a long period. It's very long, but yeah, it's not really much of an adjustment. How have you liked playing with uh, Jalen Hands and kind of playing together, playing apart? How's that kind of gone? Uh, it's fun. You know, either, either one of us could score the ball, pass it, and just run the team. So it's obviously good to play inside another good point guard like that. You guys played a lot together so far? Not much in practice. We're usually going against each other, but I'm, I feel like eventually we will start playing on the same team and stuff like that. What's different about your guys' games from each other? I feel like I'm more of a scorer guard than he's more of a passing point guard. How'd the scrimmage go? It went well. I feel like we showed toughness, getting the job done, and the W's are that matter. What has the staff told you about this trip to China? Have they said anything? Have you thought about it yet, or is everything focused on tomorrow night? Everything's focused on tomorrow. We'll get to that after the game. We got a long time to uh, get ready for that. So. As I say, do you have any personal expectations for the trip to China? Or? That flight's going to be crazy, but other than that, I'm excited to go. It should be a great environment, and I'm just happy to be there. The coach talked about taking midterms and everything over there. Are you guys like aware that it's not just basketball, that there's a lot going on while you're there? I mean, yeah, everywhere we go, if we have a midterm or test, we have to take it. So mm -hmm. it's just like that every place we go, even in the state. So it's no different. Will that be the longest flight you've ever been on in your life? I don't think so. I can't remember how long Australia was, but I think it's up there with Australia. So how do you how do you think the style of play of this year's team will be different from last year's? I feel like we'll be more of a slashing team this year. Obviously, we can hit shots, but I think we'll just slash more, fast break, run it, run more on the fast break, and I think we'll play defense a little better this year than last year. You think you guys will run even more on the fast break? Than yeah, I think if we get stops, we'll be out. And I think we can do that a lot this year. The Lakers played the Pelicans. Did you have fun with D'Angelo about that, the, uh, the brother matchup? Oh, I mean, we didn't really talk about that. I was just happy to see him at the game. Really. How's the uh, transition been coming in? Like, I know we talked to you before, but uh, getting more comfortable, you know, filling in, fitting in. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, no doubt. You know, it's, it's been going great. You know, I think we're looking real nice as a team, and you know, we're just progressing nicely, and we have, you know, just looking for improvement. Coach mentioned rebounding during the scrimmage. Is that an area that you guys are focused on right now? Oh, yeah, overall, I think we, uh, you know, the team, we definitely got to rebound a lot more. You know, this season, you know, we're really big so, and athletic, so that should be one of our strong suits that have defending and stuff. So. An exhibition game like this, what are you looking for for, for the team to be successful in this kind of uh, event, I guess? Really, uh, we're so long, so, you know, I think um, defending well on the defensive end would be, you know, really great for us. And, you know, it just make offense easy. You know, I think our offense, you know, as I've, as I've seen and played with, we're doing good. So tomorrow, hopefully, we can show a little bit, you know, more de defense and offense. So we'll, we'll be good, though. How much of a learning curve for you has it been schematically on defense compared to in high school where you might just be manning up with someone, whereas now yeah. it's a lot more schemes, a lot more help side, just stuff like that? Oh, it's, it's, it's definitely way different. You know, you can't just, you're not just worrying too much about just your man. You know, there's a lot of, you know, get to the blue line and a lot of, you know, the screen and rolls are really the toughest thing. So, you know, uh, just improving on that will, you know, make us a good team. How much percentage would you say the screen roll is just communication versus feel and just knowing what you, the other guy's going to do? I think it's really been uh, more half and half. Well, because, you know, it depends on what side of the floor is, you know, you know, you got to ice some sides and, you know, you got to hedge other sides. So really it's just you got you to know where you are on the floor. You got to know your personnel and, you know, just know how to defend it. What's been the big, obviously haven't played in a real game yet, but just playing against guys in practice, what's been the biggest uh, point in transition for you uh, moving to the college level? And just uh, definitely finishing. You know, I got to keep finishing and 
attacking the rim and you know knocking down shots. You know, sometimes you might not be able to get to the lane. So, you know, stopping there at the three-point shot and you know shooting that, that's something different. Transition then for you coming in here with, the, with all these new guys. Uh, you know, it's been it's been, it was rough at first. You know, just going up against like guys like Tom and Gigi and Alex. You know. It's a lot different in high school with me and Marvin just always going at it with each other. So, but it's, it's been it's been for the better. What was the biggest difference there I mean, in terms of transition between those guys? I think the biggest difference is you know every play you just got someone with the same athletic ability and you know the same size and the same height, and the same skill set. So you know some days you know you wouldn't always have to go against you know somebody with the same size or the same skill set as you. For a big man, how good of a shooter is, is Tom? Oh, Tom, Tom's been shooting really well. You know, I saw last year he matched the mid-range, and over the summer I saw that he stepped out and he stretched out to the three. So, you know, he's been doing really well with that. That baseline jumper is kind of his go-to. Is He extended yeah. out to a corner three, he said? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, he's extended out to the three. So, you know, hoping that he'll have the constant shoot this year because we could definitely use it. Where can you shoot it from? How far out? I can send it out to the three also. Me and Tom shoot together all the time. I'm being a great shooter that he is, so I like to shoot with him and get some pointers and you know, just feel good going with somebody that's the same height. Well, not the same height, but you know, yes. another tall player that can shoot also. You have the green light to shoot out there? Uh, yeah, coach lets us play. So, you know, if, if we're capable of making a shot and he has confidence in it and we shoot it in practice, it's not just a shot that we just pull out of the bag, you know. So he sees in the practice and believes in it. So I feel like I'll be shooting it this year. Coaching staff lets you know much about this trip to China coming up? Um, we haven't watched a lot of film. We haven't watched film at all in Georgia Tech, but we just talk about like their personalities and some of the sets they run and uh, their go-to players are being a four-man. So we'll talk about that, how to deal with picking roles and all that. What about like, the logistics, like going over there, anything like that? Um, just the fact that it's a 14-hour flight and uh, <laughs> us, us rookies that didn't make that travel to Australia, yeah. you know, we're going to have to be able to adjust, you know, with the different time zones and, and all that. But we're all looking forward to it. Have you ever been overseas like that before? No, I haven't. This would be a first for me. Did you have to get a passport and everything like that? Yeah, yeah, I had to get a passport, a visa, that whole process. We took care of that during the summer. Shots? Dude. Yeah, yeah, shots. <laughs> My arm was dead for at least a day. I never <laughs> had no shots like that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.